here. Guess what? It's time for a story. Today we're going to have one book and something on the flannel board, an old favorite of mine. So let's get started. The book is called E-I-E-I-O, or How Old MacDonald Got His Farm, with a little help from a hen. It's by Judy Sierra, with pictures by Matthew Myers, and it's published by Candlewick Press. Oh, look at all those veggies. Mmm, mmm. I see tomatoes and carrots and a rutabaga and eggplant, corn, squash, pumpkin, watermelon, and even a flower. But this farm for Old MacDonald, it's not out in the country. Well, Old MacDonald had a house, E-I-E-I-O, and around that house there was a yard. Mo, 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 mo. MacDonald said, I love my yard, but mowing grass is mighty hard. So off he went to get a goat. E-I-E-I-O. The goat just nibbled at the edges, and then she ate McDonald's hedges. Soon the plot began to thicken. Old McDonald got a chicken. E-I-E-I-O. And not your average bird was she, but the smartest hen in history. Look at that, she even has a diploma and a resume. Comes with great recommendations, I'm sure. Cheer up, Max, said the little red hen. You'll never mow the lawn again. Join me in a garden caper. Cover up this grass with paper. Layer cardboard, then add dirt. Mac tossed in his, oh, his socks and shirt. The rain poured down and made a flood. McDonald's yard was mixed in mud. Oh. The neighbors watched up from the alley. Then they held a protest rally. The little red hen got wet and wetter. Garbage, she cheeped. We'll make things better. Things could not get any worse, groaned Mac. He flung his food scraps out in back. And when the mud had turned to goop, the little red hen atop her coop, clucked, who will help me find some poop? So old MacDonald got a horse. E-I-E-I-O. I should say E-I-E-I-O. That's manure. Horse poop for the garden. Now when the neighbors yelled, oh, we hate that smell. Mac and the hen built a worm hotel, and in no time flat, those squirmy eaters turned out compost sweet and sweeter. Gone was the grass, gone were the weeds. Old MacDonald ordered seeds, E-I-E-I-O. Well, the worms churned and the sun beat down and magic happened underground. Leaves burst out and flowers too. Yellow, orange, purple, blue, then vegetables so plump and sweet that Mac had more than he could eat. He milked the goat and made some cheese. He traded eggs for a hive of bees. The bees made honey, so Mac made money. And the neighbors said, hmm, Mac sure is smart, as they bought fresh food from his garden cart. Now old MacDonald has a farm, and he loves it so. Can you say the last part with me? E-I-E-I-O. And there's one of the protesters sitting down with his daughter, having one, sharing Mac's carrots. Well, the story we're gonna have on the flannel board is an old one an old favorite of mine, and it's about growing something in the garden, too. So let's get started. Well, once upon a time, there was a farmer, 
And more than anything else in the whole world, he loved turnips. So one day he planted a seed in the ground and he watered it and weeded it and he waited for it to grow. First it grew just a little and then it grew a lot until he could tell that it was a great, big, enormous turnip and it was ready to be picked. So he grabbed on to the turnip greens and he pulled and he pulled and he pulled and he pulled, but the turnip wouldn't come up. So he called to his wife and said, fee fi fo fum I pulled on this turnip, but it wouldn't come up. Would you help? So his wife came to help. She grabbed onto the farmer and the farmer grabbed onto the turnip and they pulled and they pulled and they pulled and they pulled, but the turnip wouldn't come up. I'll go ask our daughter, said the woman. So she went to her daughter and she said, fee, fi, fo, fum. We pulled on the turnip, but it wouldn't come up. Would you help? So their daughter came to help. She grabbed onto her mother and the mother grabbed onto the farmer and the farmer grabbed onto the turnip. And they pulled and they pulled and they pulled and they pulled, but the turnip wouldn't come up. So the girl said, I'll go ask the dog to help us. So she went to the dog and she said, fee, fi, fo, fum. We pulled on the turnip, but it wouldn't come up. Would you help? So the dog came to help. He grabbed onto the girl and the girl grabbed onto the mother. The mother grabbed onto the farmer and the farmer grabbed onto the turnip. And they pulled and they pulled and they pulled and they pulled but the turnip wouldn't come up. So the dog went to the cat and said, fee, fi, fo, fum, we pulled on the turnip, but it wouldn't come up, would you help? So the cat came to help. She grabbed onto the dog, and the dog grabbed onto the girl, the girl grabbed onto the mother, the mother grabbed onto the farmer, and the farmer grabbed onto the turnip. And they pulled and they pulled and they pulled and they pulled, but the turnip wouldn't come up. So the cat said, I'll go ask the mouse. And the others just laughed and said, the mouse, he's too small. He won't be able to help us. But the cat went to the mouse anyway and said, fee, fi, fo, fum. We pulled on the turnip, but it wouldn't come up. Would you help? And the mouse said, help you? Well, you know, I bet I could pull that turnip out of the ground all by myself. But since you're all here, I'm happy to lend a hand. So the mouse grabbed onto the cat, and the cat grabbed onto the dog, and the dog grabbed onto the girl, and the girl grabbed onto the mother, and the mother grabbed onto the farmer, and the farmer grabbed onto the turnip. And they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled, and pop, out of the ground came that great, big, enormous turnip. And the mouse stepped back, rubbed his little paws together and said, see, I told you I could pull it out. And I guess he was right because I know for a fact that they all had that turnip in a pie for supper. Mm -mm. So those are our garden stories today. Do you have a garden at your house? I wonder what you're growing. We have a big garden at our house, and I can't wait for some of the things to get ripe so we can eat them. So those are our stories, as I said, and we hope we'll see you again next time when it's time for a story. Bye-bye.